Welcome back everyone, my name is Jace. I'm bringing you a Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced build video. I'm going to show off my Holy Blade Paladin build and my setup I like to use, or may I say, a lot of people. In order for this build to work, I recommend leveling someone up as a hunter for every single level. Hunters are very versatile, with very good attack, speed, and a good enough HP and MP. I don't recommend leveling up as a Paladin, while they have an excellent defense stat, they just don't offer nearly enough speed, MP, and weapon attack for my liking. At level 50, we will have stats similar to my Paladin. My average party level was 50 before I recruited Cheney, who starts off and is born a Hunter. He is a great character for this build because of his stats. Our main focus is to go around holy blading enemies, so Chivalry and Paladin is our base class. Costing only 32 MP, it is a very strong ability. Our secondary action ability can vary. White Magic is very fitting and offers our clan members great support. Biter Tech and Hunt are great recommendations if our MP runs out. We can still do good damage and attack from a distance. Since we will be slightly lacking in the defense stat, Reflex will help us avoid most regular attacks, thus increasing our survivability. Our support ability will be Concentrate. We will have around a 95% chance to land Holy Blade with this equipped, and it reliably allows us to secure kills. Have some sort of combo ability equipped. It will help us secure an attack and participate in some awesome combos with our clan. Lastly, with our equipment, I like Nagra Rock. Excalibur 2 has more attack power, and Sequins can potentially be better, but Nagra Rock has more than good enough attack, adds 6 to our speed stat, and gives us one move. Sequence can be better, but grinding for it can take longer than beating the entire game or mastering all jobs. For our armor, I like Patrol here. It gives us a slight boost in many different stat areas, along with increasing our move and jump. Paladins aren't so mobile, so this is a must equip in my opinion. For our final three, it will be Ninja Tabi for plus two move, Angel Ring for auto raise, and immunity to several negative status ailments, and lastly, Star Armlet for a slight increase in our defense, magic power, resistance, and speed. This build makes us very mobile. We will have high attack and speed. We will be able to one shot nearly everything in sight as well. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon.